Virgo, welcome to your January 2022 prediction. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you've made it. We have made it. I'm excited. We're just going to hop right into it. Let's let's do it. I have your first week of January, second, third, and fourth week. Some guidance cards. We got you right here. We got the candle and incense glowing. We got this dragon blood incense, which um, it's very powerful. I love this candle. And I got a coffee. I got some shweed. You know, I got some water. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Let's see what January 2022 has in store for you. First week of January, what do we have going on? We got the Queen of Wizards, Queen of Wands, Six of Cups, and Eight of Wands. I didn't even have to flip anything up right. It all came up right. Okay. So we got our head on our shoulders. We have our head... <laughs> We have our head on our shoulders. We have a good head on our shoulders at that coming in strong with the Queen of Wands. We're feeling ready to go. We have the we have the gas in our tank. We're ready to take action. And I feel you like you're coming in really strong here. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not being silly. <laughs> with the Six of Cups, it's like you've learned from your experiences. You've had, <clears throat> I feel like, um, you know you've been going through it you've been going through your trials and tribulations and you're coming in the first week of january 22 2022 you're right you're coming in like a wrecking ball ready to kill shit on god <laughs> okay with this eight of wands it's like you're ceasing the opportunities you're ceasing the day it's like you want to get this done okay i'm gonna get it done um i want this okay i'm attracting this that's what i see for you for this first week of january 2022 very nice you might have someone from the past coming in as well to talk okay possible lover from the past you might be attracting that you're very attractive at this time with this fiery energy okay virgo i like it I like it get, getting out getting out of your element and you know like getting shit done being very proactive I love it here let's see what the second week has for you so we got the page of swords in reverse we have the emperor and reverse and then we have the three of cups in reverse so from the first week, a lot of fiery energy, a lot of, I feel like you're moving, you're active in the first week. To the second week, the page of swords in reverse, I feel like you start to think about something. Now something has caught your attention, something is now on your mind, and it has caused you to get in this state of mind that's really, like I feel like you're really scratching your head here in the second week of January, thinking to yourself, hmm how can things get better how can i manifest you know happiness with the three of cups in reverse i feel like you know you've gone to a place where okay this is cool like i'm busy i'm getting shit done but i feel like you're wanting to tweak certain aspects of your life that that make you happy and that bring you stability I feel like you're asking yourself, you know, what is it that I want to do today? What is it that's going to make me happy? That's what I feel here for the second week of January. Doing things that make you happy. Let's move on to this third week down here. We have the four of pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have the King of Swords in reverse. So going down to the third week of January, the Four of Pentacles, <sighs> stability, okay? We're also holding on to that stability, um, maybe a little bit too tight with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're holding on to something, if that's money. You're holding on to your money really tightly, which is kind of um, actually stagnating your 
growth moving forward and with the king of swords it's like why is this happening so if you're looking for growth in your finances you know sometimes you have to take a risk in order to get rewarded sometimes you have to give invest in order to see you know your return sometimes you have to invest and investing is giving something to a situation and in, in in you're giving that thing that money or that time the attention in order to get a return right you're not just getting what you invested back but you're getting a multiple of that right so i feel like you're needing to invest here whether that's in yourself or in whatever you're doing i feel like you're being a little stingy with this four of pentacles it's like me 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 mine 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 but you're not really I feel like you're being a little bit selfish here um mm -hmm. i feel like there's possibly someone that you know it's like someone that you don't really want to work with but the universe is guiding you to work with this person or something like that and it's like i don't want to work with this person but you know that if you do work with this person that that'll kind of push things forward let's go into the last week of january we have the page of elixirs the ten of swords and the ace of pentacles interesting so i do see <clears throat> what you want coming in this new money this new opportunity this new i don't know what is this person giving to you that you want this is also i'm picking up on something it's like you want someone wants a certain job and it's like you have all these other opportunities but you want this one job it's like and I feel like there's you have like a plethora of people a plethora of opportunities for you virgo but it's like you have your eye on one thing and i feel like you end up hurting yourself here i feel like first like something is backfiring here with this ten of swords I feel like at the end of the day you're going to get what you wanted, but remember, it's not about the it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. So it's like if you could go about getting the same thing, but you know, being a little bit nicer or being a little bit open-minded, I'm meaning to say, you know, you should pick that route instead of trying to be selfish, you know, Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, please. Give me clarity on this Ace of Pentacles. The devil. Do you see? <clears throat> like, I feel like you're obsessed with getting money. If it's like a certain money amount or... Look, the Five of Pentacles. Just that message of, you know... It's like, you know, with this devil here, you can go about getting, you know, money the right way or you can go about getting it the wrong way. Which which path do you want to take? Temperance here. Look, you have an angel and then you have a devil here. And with this five of pentacles with the devil, you know, you're not going to feel good. It's not about the des it's not about the destination it's not about the dollar amount that you're trying to gain it's about how you go about the journey it's about how you feel at the end of the day are you going to sleep good at night if you do this that's what i'm picking up on here okay with this temperance card here excuse me you're needing to transmute a certain situation so if there's negativity around you then you know you can 
use that energy and turn it into abundance. Again, with this four, with this uh, trying to stabilize here. Um, we have four, four, four. So I feel like January 2022 for you, Virgo, is really about stability and finding your ground and starting off the year on a good note. What you do this month is going to be vital for how the rest of the year, you know, goes. So... It's important that you heal from what you need to heal from so it's not lingering on the rest of the year. You might be trying to heal from, okay, some type of third party situation. Something that, you know, maybe you, something happened where, you know, you, it didn't, you didn't expect it to go that way. You didn't expect it to go that way this could be this could have to do with a past lover okay this could have to do with a past lover we have the emperor and the empress on the board now so if you're healing from a relationship if you had to leave a relationship or if you stop talking to someone okay know that it's in your best interest and that you have to heal from that in order to become an empress in order to become your best self look at that in order to become your best self and attract exactly what is what it is that you want you know certain things just have to happen certain things just have to happen everything happens for a reason here and this also this energy of you know whatever that devilish energy is whatever you know Whatever negative energy is in your ear or surrounding you is very important that that leaves. It doesn't matter if it's hurt. You know, maybe this person, this emperor here, someone that you're leaving behind, you know, maybe you had to block them for a little bit for, for you to grow. Okay, this person that you're leaving behind, they're definitely thinking about you though. Um, they're definitely thinking about y'all's, um, how y'all didn't work out. They're thinking about this family that they could have with you. Thinking about marriage. Okay, so, hmm. I don't want to speak too soon, but someone is definitely thinking about you, okay? This emperor, this someone that you may have left behind. I do see, you know, good things happening for you in the future. I do see, um, I do want to say expect the unexpected, okay? So, January 22, you are um, stepping into empress mode, okay? We go from the queen of wands to empress. Okay. Expect powerful change and be bold and make the first move. Okay, very interesting. What do we have here? We have fear. Okay. Fear of moving on. Holding on too tight to something, maybe someone. We have love. Fear of doing what you love. And soulmate. Wow. Someone is scared here. You or your other person are, you know, fear. Love. Fear being intimate. fear being without each other so what whoever it is that is on your mind i feel like you know you guys are destined to be together or you are going to attract your soulmate you know but i feel like you already know this person the emperor and the empress on the board okay Getting over fears, though. Facing our fears that have to do with love, okay? And I feel like you are going to be the one making the first move here.
I'm gonna get a lucky number for you, Virgo. Abundance coming in for you in January, okay? So don't don't forget that. Lucky number four, and I said that here. So let's rewind. Let's do a recap. Let's do a recap. We have the four of wands here. We have the emperor here, four, and then we have the four of cups. Did we have another four or was that it? And then we have the uh, four of pentacles as well. So a lot of fours. Four is definitely your lucky number here. Um, but let's not let's not forget empress mode. Okay, so I know that you might be having to walk away from something that has pained you. But look, look at what's on the other side. Empress. This is abundance. Infinite abundance. Abundance means you know, an infinite amount of pleasure, of wealth, of happiness, of health, of money, of security, everything. There's a harvest here. This is beauty, okay? Looking good, feeling amazing, being able to do anything. You are everything. You are everything, okay? And the Ten of, the ten of Pentacles, you know, this is like attracting your person. This is that soulmate connection here. This is that love. Don't be don't be afraid. You know, fear is negative energy and we're releasing that, okay? So, very very nice, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like if you liked the video and you resonated with it. Um, comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel so that we can keep in touch. Love you guys. Bye.